Jay Xu is a Taiwanese singer, songwriter, rapper, record producer, actor, film director, television personality and magician. Dubbed the King of Mando Pop, and having sold over 30 million records, Xu is one of the best-selling artists in the Greater China area, and is known for his work with lyricist Vincent Fang, with whom he has frequently collaborated on his music. In 2000, Xu released his debut studio album, J, under the record company Alpha Music to moderate success. Xu rose to fame with the release of his second studio album, Fantasy, which combined Western and Eastern music styles. The album won five Golden Melody Awards, including Album of the Year. He has since further released 12 more studio albums, spawning a string of hit singles and gaining significant prominence in Asian communities such as Taiwan, Hong Kong, mainland China, Malaysia, and Singapore. Chu has embarked on six world tours, performing in cities around the world to more than 10 million spectators as of 2019. In 2007, Chu established his own record and management company JVR Music. Outside of music, Chu has served as the president of his own fashion brand Fantasy since 2006. As an actor, Chu made his acting debut in the film Initial D, followed shortly by a starring role in the epic Curse of the Golden Flower. He has since starred in a number of movies, becoming known to Western audiences when he made his Hollywood debut in 2011 with The Green Hornet, starring alongside Seth Rogen and Christoph Waltz, followed by Now You See Me Too. Chapter 1 – Early Life Jay Xu was born and raised in Taipei, Taiwan. Both his parents were secondary school teachers, his mother, Ye Hui Mei, who was an art teacher, taught fine arts, while his father, Xu Yao Chang, is a biomedical researcher. His mother noticed his sensitivity to music and took him to piano lessons at the age of four. During his childhood, he was fascinated with capturing sounds and songs with his tape recorder, which he carried everywhere with him. In the third grade, he became interested in music theory, and also started cello lessons. He was an only child and loved to play piano, imitate TV actors, and perform magic tricks. His favorite composer was, and still is to this day, Chopin. His parents divorced when he was 14 and he was teased by his classmates, which caused him to become reclusive and introverted. He had no friends and preferred to be alone, listening to music, contemplating and daydreaming. At Tamkeng Senior High School, he majored in piano and minored in cello. He showed a talent for improvisation, became fond of pop music and began to write songs. Xu was conscripted for mandatory military service after graduating from high school with inadequate grades for university. However, severe back pain triggered by sports eventually led to the diagnosis of ankylosing spondylitis, and he was exempted from military service. Meanwhile, he found a job as a waiter. Chapter 2 – Early Career Xu's mother initially inspired Xu to become a music teacher, while Xu remained relatively clueless on what to do with his life. Without his knowledge, a friend registered both their names in a talent show called Super New Talent King in 1998. Xu played the piano accompaniment for his friend, whose singing was described as lousy. Although they did not win, the show's host, Jackie Wu, an influential character in Taiwan's entertainment business, happened to glance at the music score, and was impressed with its complexity. We then asked who wrote it, discovered Xu and hired him as a contract composer and paired him with the novice lyricist Vincent Fang. For his then record company, Alpha Music. Xu then spent most of his time in Wu's studio learning music producing, sound mixing, recording and writing songs. Although he was trained in classical music, Xu combines Chinese and Western music styles to produce songs that fuse R&B, rock and pop genres. However, Wu told Xu that he would help Xu release an album after he wrote 50 songs and he would pick 10 from there. Xu already had an arsenal of songs he wrote for others but had been rejected, so among those he chose 10 for his debut CD album, J, released in 2000. 
The album established his reputation as a musically gifted singer-songwriter whose style is a fusion of R&B, rap, classical music, and yet distinctly Chinese. His fame spread quickly in Chinese-speaking regions throughout Southeast Asia. Chapter 3 – Music Career Chapter 3 – Section 1 – 2000-2003 In 2000, under the recommendation of Junior Yang, Jay Xu began to sing his own songs. Xu launched his debut album Jay under Alpha Music in 2000. Xu arranged the compilation, harmony, and production of all the songs. The album combines R&B, hip-hop, and other musical styles. Among them, the hit song won the 24th China Top 10 Chinese Gold Songs. The album was promoted heavily by Jackie Wu in the entertainment shows he hosted. Xu himself also appeared on a few television programs to promote the album. Xu was marketed as a talented singer-composer with a unique tune. His collaboration with Vincent Fang and Vivian Su on the release brought about a few hits. After promoting his debut album, Xu returned to the studio for the next 12 months to record and produce his next album, Fantasy, which helped him become an established star. This album was released in September 2001 and became a big hit, selling an estimated 2 million copies in Taiwan alone. Fantasy helped you secure 10 nominations and 5 wins at the 13th Golden Melody Awards 13 in 2002. R&B hits such as, which won you the Best Composer Award, and are considered Xu's signature songs and are still sung in concerts today. Xu's music has been a much discussed topic across Chinese regions, because it differed greatly from mainstream popular Chinese music released at that time. His pieces combine ancient themes with futuristic ones, including things like spaceships, all while employing graphic storytelling skills to evoke vivid imagery to his audience. His enunciation, or lack thereof, whether rapping or singing, was also critiqued when listeners often found that they could not decipher the words sung until they looked up the lyrics. Critics referred to his singing as mumbling. This garnered a lot of attention and reporters often quiz Xu on his singing style. Xu defended this as his signature style to infuse the vocals with the music and make it blend well together. Xu also stated that he wants the listeners to look at the lyrics stating the lyrics written by Vincent Fang are very deep. Xu's third album, The Eight Dimensions, became another commercial success and is similar in style to his second. Another collaboration with Fang, The Eight Dimensions included songs that invoke imagery, Xu's mumbling style and mainly R&B tunes. The singer has sold over 750,000 copies of Fantasy as of 2002, throughout the region. In the same year, Xu held his debut concert tour The One. There was also more crossover activity between Malaysia and Indonesia, as well as steadily increasing activity by Japanese acts in the region. Chapter 3 Section 2, 2003-2005 In 2003, Xu released his fourth album Ye who he may named after his own mother. After the release of this album, he attended the Golden Melody Awards for his previous album's nomination. The album The Eight Dimensions was nominated for five categories but won none. Xu didn't take this too lightly, as he wrote on his next album the song that he actually takes the Golden Melody Awards too seriously. Ironically, his then-current album Ye Who He May would go on to win a Golden Melody Best Album of the Year award in 2004. Ye Who He May was both a commercial and musical success. The album features songs on mafia and drug lords which at first hearing was very unorthodox but displays Jay's creative writing and producing ability. This album can be seen as Jay's second milestone because it gained an extremely positive reaction from both critics and supporters of his music. Jay also wanted to prove that he is a versatile artist and does not only write R&B songs, but he also ventured into more rock-flavored tunes such as which was one of the most played songs of the year. This song gained widespread popularity and high school students started learning guitar to play the drift of the song's intro. 
In 2004, his album Common Jasmine Orange, released by Sony Music, excelled in the Greater China region. In 2004, his album Kilixang, or Jasmine, released by Sony Music, excelled in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and China the mainland. Despite overwhelming piracy in Taiwan which has reduced the recording industry to 5-10% to from its heyday as a Taiwan singer, Jay produced an album that sold a record 300,000 copies. In Hong Kong, his album surpassed local albums with sales of 50,000 units. In China the official figure reached 2.6 million units, a figure no other Chinese artist has attained. The World Music Awards in September 2004 held in Las Vegas acknowledged him as the most popular Chinese singer based on sales. In 2005, his album 11 Chopin of November continued this record of success with sales of 2.5 million units in Asia. Chapter 3 Section 3, Single Released in 2018 He published his new single Waiting For You. He released the song on his birthday. January 18th. The content is about a young man who secretly fell in love with a girl. He regretted that he didn't study well and couldn't enter the same university with her. In order to wait for her to finish class, he rented a house near the girl's residence, waited for her silently, played the piano and wrote a love letter. He just wanted to convey his mind to her, but he couldn't find the time and way. He had to wait for the girl to finish class every day. Chapter 3 Section 4, Single Released in 2019 He recently made his chart comeback after a three-year hiatus with his long-awaited new single Won't Cry. The song, which features Mayday vocalist, Ashin, was released on 16 September 2019, and its music video has since been viewed over 22 million times on YouTube. In fact, the song was streamed so many times that it was reported to have caused QQ Music, China's biggest streaming platform, to crash on the day of its release. Chapter 3 Section 5, Single Released in 2020 He published his new single Mojito. It caused a sensation on the internet. The song, which effuses amorous feelings of Cuba, was released as a single album on June 12, 2020. Chapter 4, Musical Style Chu's compositions are loosely categorized as pop music. While many of his works fall into contemporary R&B, rap, and rock genres, the term Chu style has been popularized to describe his trademark cross-cultural music and insistence on singing with slurred enunciation. Taipei Times once described the meaning of Chu style, in what has become the archetypal Chu style, Taiwan's favorite son blends pop, rap, blues and a smorgasbord of aesthetic elements of world music to create his dream-like Never Never Land. Chu regularly fuses traditional Chinese instruments and styles with R&B or rock to form a new genre called Jim Guo Feng, which literally means Chinese-style music, some of which are written in the pentatonic scale as opposed to the more common seven-note scale to accentuate an oriental style. Besides his own culture, he also incorporated Spanish guitar in Red Imitation, American techno slash electronica in Herbalist's Manual, rap with subtle classical music undertones in reverse scales, blues style in Free Tutorial Video and Bossa Nova style in Rosemary, to name a few. Sound effects from everyday life are frequently woven into his music, such as bouncing ping-pong balls, touch-tone phone dialing, helicopter blades, dripping rain, and radio static noise. His formal musical training is evident by the use of classical textures in his compositions. For example, counterpoint was used in Perfection and Sorry, while polyphony can be found in The Wound That Ends War and Twilight's Chapter 7. Chu's albums have been noted for the lack of change compared to his earlier works, yet he firmly stated that he will not alter his style, they say I've been standing still, but this is the music I want, and I don't see what I want by moving ahead. To demonstrate his point, he named his 2006 album Still Fantasy after his 2001 album Fantasy. His use of relaxed enunciation has been criticized as mumbling which he also insisted will not change, however, 
Recently he has adopted clearer pronunciation for certain songs, particularly more traditional Chinese-style songs, such as Far Away which features Fei Yu Ching and Chrysanthemum Terrace. Chapter 4 Section 1, Lyrics Chu is considered more of a singer-composer than a lyricist. Several regulars write the lyrics for most of his music, but the content and style is unified with his own personality and image, covering a diverse range of topics and ideas. Vincent Fang accounts for more than half of the lyrics in his albums, helping to establish an important element in Shu's music, the use of meaningful, imagery and emotionally rich lyrics, sometimes written in the form of ancient Chinese poetry with reference to Chinese history or folklore. In addition to writing romantic hits, he also touches on war, the Bible, sports, and martial arts. Vivian Su is a singer herself and has helped with Xu's earlier hits. Xu himself has written lyrics for many ballads, but has also discussed societal ills such as drug addiction in Coward and loss of the rural countryside to urbanization in terrace fields. Domestic violence discussed in Dad, I Am Back received a great deal of commotion since he was the first to bring up this taboo subject in Sanskrit music. Xu's parents divorced when he was 14 years old. According to Jay's accounts of his childhood in interviews, his father had subjected his mother to daily verbal and physical abuse, often witnessed by traumatized young Jay. Once grown and starting to realize fame among Southeast Asian singers, his difficult childhood experiences influenced the young artist's penning of songs like In the Name of Father detailing the cruelty and brutality of the domestic violence he'd witnessed at his father's hand. Chapter 4 Section 2 Chinese cultural elements. Xu leads a new trend of music which combines Western musical elements and Chinese literature terms. Because of this unique combination, he makes distinction between himself and other musicians by leading a Jingguo Feng in Asian music history. The success of his Western Chinese musical combination is built on his marketing strategies and the musical elements involved in his works. In early 21st century, the People's Republic of China was in an economic transition model. The new generation was looking for a consumption pop culture which would reflect individual uniqueness in the social circumstance. Xu has successfully generated airtime on CCTV by fitting in with the mainland's political and cultural agenda, and celebrating traditional Chinese values. The traditional Chinese cultural elements involved in Xu's music contribute to his status in Asian popular music culture. The blowing Chinese style in his music leads a new trend of Chinese pop music that involves a vast amount of traditional Chinese components, rather than simply following Western music format. Xu's Jingguo Feng is highlighted in his lyrics and the use of traditional musical instruments in his music. Lyricist Vincent Fang has worked with Jay Xu since 2000. Fang's work is featured by addressing Chinese traditional elements, such as poetry and Confucianism. His representative work Chrysanthemum Terrace, released in 2006, shows a vast amount of cultural elements. In this work, Fang puts images which indicate certain traditional ideas to build an ancient monarchy setting. He uses chrysanthemum as a metaphor of love. In the line chrysanthemums broken, scattered across the floor, your smile has faded, as well with blue and white porcelain and orchid pavilion. Chu performs in a rhythm and blues style, but within this western form, he has inserted Chinese melodies, themes, and rhythms. His 2003 song East Wind Breaks features a typical Chinese melody performed in R&B style, its instrumentation also creates a Chinese atmosphere with the peeper. In the lyrics, Xu expresses sadness and loneliness subtly, similar to traditional Chinese poetry. Xu also uses traditional musical instruments, combining traditional Chinese elements of music with Western pop. Chapter 5 Collaborations Xu began as a songwriter for other singers and continued this line of work even after he debuted his successful career in singing. He has composed frequently for Jolin Tsai, Landy Wen, and occasionally for other singers such as Coco Lee, S.H.E., Vivian Su, Fish Leong, Selena Ren, Li Hong Wang, Will Lu Valen Su, and Hong Kong pop stars Edmund Leung, 
TP48, Jordan Chan, Edison Chen, Karen Mok, Leo Ku, Gigi Leung, Eason Chan, and Joey Young, as well as a one-time collaboration with Howard Su. He has also written for singers outside of his generation, over one dozen songs for his mentor Jackie Wu, later also for Taiwanese singer Jody Chiang, and Hong Kong singers Jackie Chung, Andy Lau, Aaron Kwok, and Kenny B. He initiated the band Nan Kwon Momo in 2004, selecting band members and overseeing their album production. The group has been noted for sounding too similar to their mentor, as a result, Chu has reduced his involvement in the band, but continues to help increase their exposure to mass audiences by inviting them as guests performers for his concerts and music videos. He has performed live duets with Landy Wen, Jolin Sai, and former girlfriend news anchor Patty Howe, but only two studio recordings of duets have been formally placed in his albums. Coral Sea in 2005 with Lara Veronin and Far Away in 2006 features Fei Yu Ching, who began his career in the 1970s. On 9 July 2001, song creators Jay and Young Guy Hyun performed The Roof, which was included in the album A Little Wild released by Young Guy Hyun. In 2016, Jay and A May Sang Shouldn't Be, which was included in Jay Shu's 2016 album Jay Shu's Bedtime Stories. In 2017, the song won the 2016 Top 20 Golden Melody Awards in the Global Pop Music Gold List. On 18 January 2018, Waiting For You was sung by Jay Shu and Gary Yang. Besides working with singers, Shu's longest-running collaboration is with lyricist Vincent Fang, as they both started their careers in the music field in 1998. The compilation album Partners featured 12 songs, each consisting of Shu's musical and Fang's lyrical compositions. Fang has written the words to more than 40 of Shu's songs, was the chief editor of Shu's book Grandeur de D Major, and is now Shu's business partner for the record company JVR Music. J. Shu has also featured in Cindy Yen's Song Sand Painting released in October 2009. J. Shu collaborated with Kobe Bryant on the Heaven and Earth Challenge to promote youth creativity, as well as an upcoming slam dunk competition in China. The song was released at a press conference before the NBA, All-Star Game on 20 February 2011. Chapter 6, World Tours Jay held his first series of five solo concerts, titled Fantasy Concert, with the first stop on of January 2001 at Taoyuan Arena, Taiwan. Followed by two shows at the Hong Kong Coliseum, one in Malaysia ended in Singapore on 10 February 2002. His second concert tour, the one concert commenced on 28 September 2002 at Taipei Municipal Stadium, followed by 11 stops and ended at Shenzhen Stadium, China on 3 January 2004. Two more series of world tours followed, Incomparable Concert in 2004 and Jay Shu 2007, Las Vegas, Toronto, and Vancouver. In 2010, to celebrate Jay's 10-year career in the entertainment industry, he embarked on his fifth series of concert tour titled, New Era World Tour, with the first stop of three concerts from 11 to 13 June 2010 at Taipei Arena, followed by 40 stops ending from 17 to 18 December 2011 at Kaohsiung Arena. He has kicked off his world tour, Opus J World Tour starting with Shanghai as its first stop from 17 to 19 May 2013. Due to the success of his Opus J World Tour concerts, Jay Shu announced a sequel to the concert, titled Opus 2 J World Tour. The first stop of this new world tour opened in the same city as its preceding world tour on 2 May 2014, with more stops opening in same destinations. His seventh world tour, the Invincible Concert Tour also held its first concert stop in Shanghai on 30 June 2016, and ending in December 2017. Similar to his previous world tour, the Invincible 2 Concert Tour also had a sequel that had its first stop in Singapore on 6 January 2018. To celebrate his 20th year in the entertainment industry, the 8 World Tour 20 Carnival World Tour held its first concert in Shanghai on 17 October 2019, with more stops to be announced. 
World Tours slash Live Album Releases 2001, Fantasy Concert 2002, The One Concert, J. Shu The One Concert Live 2004, Incomparable Concert, J. Shu 2004 Incomparable Concert 2007, J. Shu World Tours, J. Shu 2007 The World Tours Concert Live 2010, New Era World Tour, J. Shu 2010 The Era World Tours Concert Live 2013, Opus J World Tour Concert Live, J. Shu 2013 Opus J World Tours Concert Live 2016, The Invincible Concert Tour, J. Shu The Invincible Concert Tour Chapter 7, Movie Career Shu formally entered the film industry in 2005 with the release of the movie Initial D. He has since acted in three other movies, directed one film and more than a dozen music videos. Shu, who once said I live because of music, ventured into movies because he felt the need for a new challenge. As fans have grown concerned that movies will compromise his music career, Chu has repeatedly reassured that movies are a source of inspiration and not a distraction, at the same time, he realizes the need to balance both careers and maintain his place in the music field to garner the continued support of fans. Chapter 7 Section 1, Acting Entry into acting was an unexpected move for Shu. His high school English teacher thought he was capable of very few facial expressions, and the director of Hidden Track said that his strong individualistic personality will not make him a good actor. In 2005, Chu's first role as the lead actor in D Initial D served two purposes, to launch his acting debut, and to increase his exposure to Japanese audiences. This film is based on the Japanese comic Initial D, where Shu played Takumi Fujiwara, a gifted toge racer who is quiet and rarely shows expression. Some reviewers criticized his bland acting while others felt he performed naturally, but only because the character's personality closely mirrored his own. His performance in Initial D won him Best Newcomer Actor in Golden Horse Awards and Hong Kong Film Awards. Xu's second film was Curse of the Golden Flower. As a supporting character, he drew much of the attention of Chinese reporters, Xu's involvement in this movie was announced in its own press conference, separate from the meeting held for Chao Yunfat, Gong Li, and the other actors. Xu portrayed Prince Jai, the ambitious second eldest prince and general of the Imperial Army, whose personality epitomizes Xiao, the Chinese virtue of filial piety. In this internationally released film, North American audiences saw Xu for the first time. According to Chinese movie critics, comments about his acting ranged from lax complexity to acceptable, but was critically praised by Western reviewers. His performance in Curse of the Golden Flower was nominated Best Supporting Actor in the Hong Kong Film Awards. In the 2008 film Kung Fu Dunk, Xu portrayed a Kung Fu student and dunking prodigy, and the film earned over 100 million yen. Xu portrayed Kato in The Green Hornet, directed by Michelle Gondry and released in January 2011, after Hong Kong actor Stephen Chow withdrew from the project, the film grossed over $228 million worldwide. MTV Network's NextMovie.com named him one of the breakout stars to watch for in 2011. In May 2011, Chu started filming for a new movie, The Viral Factor directed by Dante Lam and starred various well-known artists such as Nicholas C. The movie was released in theaters over Asia on the 17th of January 2012. With most of the scenes shot in the Middle Eastern and Southeast Asian countries, the earlier filming process has been slightly disrupted due to political conflicts in the Middle East. Chu co-starred with Daniel Radcliffe in Now You See Me Too, which was released in June 2016. In 2018, it was announced that Chu joined the cast of Vin Diesel's fourth 30 film. In 2021. Chu was briefly starred in Nasia, where he was the executive producer for the film. With a budget reportedly up to more than 400 million yuan, the film used some expensive racing cars for the action sequences, accounting for about 80% of the entire content. Directed by Chen Yi Shen, 
The film also stars Cao Yuning, Van Fan, and Alan Kuo. Xu and pop idol Wang Jun-kai show up in the film in cameo appearances. Chapter 7 Section 2 Directing Xu acquired his first directing experience in 2004 through music videos. He initially experimented with a song by the group Nan Quan Mama titled Home where he was involved throughout the entire process from research to editing. After learning the difficulties of being a director, he refused to direct again even at the request of his record company. However, his interest resurfaced again as he directed music videos for four of the twelve songs in own album November's Chopin in 2005, and later television advertisements. By 2006, he had taken responsibility for the storyboard, directing, and editing of music videos for all his songs. It is unclear how the public appraises his work, since music videos are rarely the subject of critical review, however, director Zhang Yimou said that Xu's directing abilities may surpass his own in the future, after viewing several of Xu's music videos. In February 2007, Xu began directing his first film Secret. The script written by Xu was inspired by his relationship with a high school girlfriend, with a plot focused on music, love, and family. He stars as the lead actor of the film with Guai Lun Mei as the female lead, and Hong Kong veteran actor Anthony Wong as Xu's father. Despite previous experience in filming music videos, Xu admits that movies are more challenging due to storyline and time constraints. This movie was released in July 2007. In 2013, Jay Xu released his second directorial film, a musical drama titled The Rooftop. It generated a more muted response compared to his directorial debut, the box office receipts in mainland China, on the other hand were positive. Chapter 8, Other Works Chapter 8 Section 1, Book, Grandeur de D Major Xu published his first book titled Grandeur de D Major on 25 November 2004. This 200-page book features a prologue written by his family, friends and co-workers, the main section is a compilation of his personal attitudes, philosophies, and recollections of childhood experiences along with pictures from his music videos, many of which have never been released, and lastly, a list of the artist's major awards, musical and lyrical compositions, and discography. For the usually low-profile singer, this book revealed his personality and convictions that has served as the basis of his musical and public image. He demonstrated a strong appreciation of family values with an especially deep connection with his mother and maternal grandmother. His confidence and dedication towards music is evident as he dedicated two out of seven chapters to music, the current state of the industry, his composition methodology, and the importance of individualism to his success in music. This pride is contrasted against his modesty and self-assessed naivete about many aspects in life particularly regarding relationships and marriage. Chapter 8 Section 2 Endorsements Xu has been a spokesperson for popular brands, such as Pepsi, Panasonic, Motorola, M-Zone slash China Mobile, Levi's, DOE, Meters Boneway Group, Colgate, popular computer game Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos, and Science and Nature magazine National Geographic. To maximize the celebrity branding effect, advertisements are nearly always linked to his music and TV commercials are occasionally directed by him. He acted as the tourism ambassador for Malaysia in 2003. In April 2008, Jay signed with Sprite and collaborated with artists such as Angela Chang and JJ Lin in commercials. He also did a Sprite commercial with Kobe Bryant and specially wrote a song name featuring Kobe Bryant for the commercial. In June 2011, Jay expanded his area of endorsement into the field of technology, becoming the designer and spokesperson of the N43 SLJ Shoe Edition laptop of Asus Computers. The laptop is most notable for its lid design, sound system, startup and shutdown tones, and a unique J font for its key. All of which, except for the sound system, are designed and composed by Jay himself. In 2015, Jay endorses Lugshkin. 
Chapter 8 Section 3, Philanthropy Jay has been the spokesperson for Angel Heart Foundation since 2012, a non-profit charity for children with intellectual disability. In 2013, he hosted a voluntary concert for them. In 2014, Jay accepted the Ice Bucket Challenge from Andy Lau, and also donated 100,000 Taiwan dollars to Taiwanese ALS Foundation, and also donated 2 million Taiwan dollars in the aftermath of 2014 Kaohsiung gas explosions. He also attended the charity event from Fubon Charity Foundation, and has been the ambassador for the charity, which helps school children with disabilities, hardship or giving children living in poverty a scholarship for their education. He had already donated 970 million Taiwan dollars in the last five years, sponsoring over 300 of the thousand benefactors, and would extend the offer by five years, and open 300 more scholarships, and donated a lump sum of 10.8 million Taiwan dollars in the next five years worth 2.16 million Taiwan dollars each year. In June, 2014, he also went on tour with Wu Lu to visit many schoolchildren in remote areas of Taiwan. Jay's second tour is scheduled in August, 2015, two months after he officially became the spokesperson for the scholarship plan. Chapter 8 Section 4, Jay Gaming In 2016, Jay Xu bought the esports team Taipei Assassins and renamed it Jay Gaming. Xu only serves as an investor and owner, and despite holding the title of a captain-slash-leader, he will only play in celebrity matches, and would not involve in the day-to-day -day operating and coaching of the team. In 2017, Jay Xu spent about 18 million Chinese yuan to build a Jay Esports building in Shenzhen, which provided updated computer devices and the streaming areas for esports players in China. More importantly, Jay decides to hold more and more esports events in the Jay Esports building, which is helpful for the development of esport industry in China. Chapter 9 Media and Public Relations Chapter 9 Section 1 Public Image Despite living under continual media scrutiny, Chu's public image has changed little over the years as he emphasizes individuality as his personal philosophy. In his music, this is also evident as he fuses Chinese and Western styles and explores topics unconventional for a pop singer, which have been described as authentic and revolutionary. The media describes a hard-working perfectionist with clear self-direction who is occasionally regarded as competitive and a control freak. There is a misunderstanding about his nickname President Xu, used by both the press and fans to underscore his domineering personality and impact on Asian music, but also points at his musical talent. It also points to the fact that he is the CEO, spokesperson and chairperson of his many business ventures like clothing lines and his own talent agency. Yet the origin of this nickname emerges from his fever of collecting antiques as the word comes from antique in Chinese, and according to J.J. Lin, they both like to collect and drive antique cars. When he initiated Nan Quan Mama, it was also based on his pen name in his high school years, and the band's name was also dedicated to his mother. In fact, Nokwa is an actual style of martial arts from south of the Yangtze River. As Jay was influenced by action movies, he also wrote songs about martial arts, even when he had no formal training in any martial arts discipline. Outside of music, Chu is reported as shy, quiet, modest, and views filial piety as the most important thing. In line with his aim to present a positive image, he is a non-smoker and non-drinker and does not go to nightclubs. Government officials and educators in Asia have awarded him for his exemplary behavior, designated him a spokesperson in the Youth Empowerment Project Young Voice in 2005 and an anti-depression campaign in 2007. His lyrics for two songs have been incorporated into the school syllabus to inspire motivational and filial attitudes. In November 2007, Chu was criticized by some for attending the funeral of Taiwanese gang leader Chen Chi Li to console Chen's son Baron Chen, whom Chu met while filming Kung Fu Dunk. In 2011 Chu performed on the New Year's Gala program on China's Central Television. Chapter 9 Section 2 – Response to the News Media and Paparazzi 
As with other stars, Xu has expressed a strong dislike of the paparazzi. In the early years of his career, unwanted attention by the media was usually dealt with by avoidance. In line with his quiet nature, he frequently wore baseball caps and hoods while lowering his head and evading eye contact during interviews. In recent years however, he has been less passive about the invasion of his privacy. To discourage the paparazzi from taking unsolicited pictures, Chu is known to photograph the paparazzi that follow him. He openly calls the paparazzi dogs and tabloids dog magazines, as shown in his lyrics for Besieged from All Sides. The media have also accused Chu of evading compulsory military service by feigning to suffer from ankylosing spondylitis. Later that year he was acquitted after providing the relevant medical records and letters from the army confirming a lawful exemption from draft dated before the start of his music career. Despite constant harassment and stalking by the media, he does acknowledge that not all media attention is unwelcome. Coverage by international journals and news agencies such as Time, The Guardian, and Reuters help ascertain his influence on mainstream culture. An editorial written by Kerry Brown of Chatham House named Xu as one of the 50 most influential figures in China, one of only three singers on a list dominated by politicians and corporate owners. At the end of 2009, he was included on JWT's annual list of 100 things to watch in 2010. Chapter 9 Section 3, Fanbase It is difficult to estimate the size and global spread of Xu's fanbase. Jay's fanbase originated from Taiwan and grew extensively to other Mandarin-speaking regions. The Chinese-speaking populations of China, Hong Kong, Macau, Singapore, and Malaysia make up a significant percentage of Xu's fans. Despite rampant piracy issues in this region of Asia, particularly in China, every album Xu has released so far has surpassed 2 million sales. According to Baidu, the most popular internet search engine in China, Xu is the number one searched male artist in 2002, 05, 06 and 07. Currently, Xu remains largely unknown outside of Asia, except in cities with large Chinese-speaking immigrant populations such as Los Angeles, New York, San Francisco, Seattle, Vancouver, Toronto, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, and Brisbane. He has held concerts in major venues such as the Acer Arena, HP Pavilion at San Jose, Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena, MGM Grand, Rogers Arena, Shrine Auditorium, Galen Center, the Air Canada Center and Wembley Arena. His intention to increase his prominence in the Western world beyond Chinese audiences is clear. In 2006, Chu composed and sang the theme song for Fearless, a movie released in major theatres in most English-speaking countries, though the impact to his fame has been minimal. His role in Curse of the Golden Flower marks his acting debut in North America. Despite having a supporting but important role in the story's plot, the North American version of the official posters only featured a view of his back, greatly contrasting the Asian versions where his face and name were clear and placed between the leading actor and actress. Although Xu is still far from being well known to English audiences, this movie has brought him international exposure. Xu gained further exposure to Western audiences in his starring role as crime fighter Kato in January 2011's The Green Hornet. Chapter 10 Personal Life Xu was rumored to have a relationship with Taiwanese singer Jolin Tsai, with the former being featured on Tsai's song Can't Speak Clearly which appeared on her fourth studio album Lucky Number. In December 2001, Sai and Shu were first spotted dining at an izakaya in Shinjuku, Japan. Although they did not admit to their relationship, their romance was an open secret in those years. However, in February 2005, Shu was spotted shopping intimately with Taiwanese news presenter Patty Hao in Shibuya, Japan. After that, Sai deliberately avoided meeting Xu and Hao during public events. In June 2010, Sai and Xu finally made amends, and Sai appeared as a special guest at Xu's concert in Taipei, which shocked the public. In July 2013, when being interviewed by Taiwanese TV host Matilda Tao, for the first time, 
Tsai admitted she used to be in love with Xu, and that she broke up with him after he cheated on her dot in November 2014, Chu confirmed his relationship with model Hannah Quinlivan. The pair had been dating since 2010, but Hannah first met Jay when she was 14 and had been working as his employee as a clothing shop assistant, since 2007. In December 2014, Chu announced that he would marry Quinlivan on his 36th birthday. Sarah Haywood planned their wedding in the United Kingdom. It took place in Selby Abbey in Selby, England on 17 January 2015, one day before Shu's birthday. A private wedding ceremony open to friends and family occurred on 9 February in Taipei. A third reception, this time in Australia, was held in March. According to Shu's official Facebook page, the couple has been registered for marriage since July 2014. The couple has two children, daughter Hathaway and son Romeo. Chapter 10 Section 1 Religious Beliefs Jay Shu became an evangelical Protestant Christian as his wife, his mother, and some of his friends, including Wu Lu and Vanus Wu, are Protestants. In 2012, he was baptized. Chapter 11 Discography J. Fantasy. The Eight Dimensions. Yi Hui Mei. Common Jasmine Orange. November's Chopin. Still Fantasy. On the Run. Capricorn. The Era. Wow. Opus 12. Io, Not Bad. J. Shu's Bedtime Stories. Chapter 12, Filmography Chapter 12 Section 1, Film Chapter 12 Section 2, Television Series Chapter 12 Section 3, Television Shows Chapter 12 Section 3 Subsection 2 Adapted Musical Chapter 13, Accolades From the launch of his music career in 2000, Chu has won singer-songwriter and producer awards in Asia. The highly coveted Golden Melody Awards in Taiwan awarded Best Album for his debut CDJ in 2001, and five awards in the following year for the album Fantasy. However, failure to win Best Album for three consecutive years has left him disheartened with award ceremonies. Although he continues to win more than 20 awards per year from various organizations in Asia, Chu has stated he will rely more on album sales as an indicator of his music's quality and popularity. In 2004, 2006, 2007 and 2008, he was awarded best-selling Chinese artist by World Music Awards for the album's Common Jasmine Orange, Still Fantasy and On the Run. J. Chu scored strong radio and video airplay in Italy with his track Nunchucks. In 2002 Xu dominated the 12th annual Channel V Music Awards ceremony, which was held the 11th of January 2006 at Queen Elizabeth Stadium in Hong Kong. In the Taiwan slash Hong Kong category, the Sony BMG Hong Kong signed artist was named Best Male Singer, Most Popular Male Singer and Best Singer slash Songwriter. Xu also collected the Best Music Video Award and received one of the Best Song of the Year awards, both for Night Song. Taiwanese vocalist Jay Xu was named the Best Asian Artist at the 8th Annual CCTV MTV Music Awards, held 12 October 2006 at the Beijing Exhibition Center Auditorium. Five Chinese musicians gained exposure for their participation in events associated with the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing, China, including Jay Xu. Xu won the Favorite Male Artist of the 2020 Golden Melody Awards in Taiwan. He did not attend the event to collect the award, as he was on tour in China at the time.